In an attempt to simplify the disaster relief effort, the federal government has set up this center with all its agencies represented at one location. But for at least one couple, Mr. and Mrs. Robert Claus, still disturbed by the trauma of losing their home, dealing with even a sympathetic bureaucracy is an exasperating experience. We have been to HUD. There's nothing that we can find out simply because we have a little bit of insurance. Our property cannot be totally replaced with the amount of insurance that we have. There's no living allowance because we could, could break up enough money to get our down payment onto this rental property. It's just a complete runaround circle. U.S. Congressman Clarence Brown has set up a trailer in the center of town, manned this day by his administrative aide. Okay. I'm not old enough for Social Security, too damned old for birth control pills. <laughs> I'm of the wrong color. Off, <laughs> and there's no house nor no place for me to live. Now, what are you... And all I get is pieces of paper to run someplace else. Where are you living now? I'm living in Miamisburg under our own will. We got out and hunted a place. We had no car. We had to go where he could work. We're without a job. I am because it was right down the street there. The house was down over there, and that's all gone. This uh, is a lot of baloney. Okay, can I, you let me talk a little? Yes, it's your turn. <laughs> okay. The HUD is doing the best they can, and you're aware that there's several thousand families in your same situation, and I'm sympathetic with your problem. Yes. And they're handling them as fast as they can, and as long as you find, sign that original form of your loss, your demands, and your needs, I feel sure by sometime midweek, whether it's a trailer you need, what it's needs, you're going to be taken care of. No, they tell us that they, they are sorry, but they don't think we will be eligible. I the congressman's office discovered that Mrs. Claus had a valid grievance. HUD apologized and agreed the Claus were eligible for up to a year's rent allowance. They blamed the mix-up on inadequately trained local personnel. In the middle of crisis, time out for the children's Easter egg hunt. Testimony, perhaps, to the resilience of Xenia's citizens. Well, we're going to rebuild. We've got a contractor ready to go as soon as we get to the city tell us what we're going to do. So, uh, that's all we're waiting on now, trying to clean up a little bit. I think the spirit here is tremendous. You see all this debris, and yet there's still a flicker of hope here. It's tremendous. I like Xenia, anyway. <laughs> There were 40 churches in Xenia. Six have been totally destroyed, many others damaged. In some places, Lutherans worship with Presbyterians, Episcopalians with Methodists. Here at the Faith Community Methodist Church, the turnout is large, although 172 families in the congregation have lost their homes. And I think this year, more than at any other time in the history of our city, we really have an opportunity of discovering what the Easter message is all about. We have the opportunity of not only hearing about the resurrection, but we have the opportunity of actually participating in and experiencing the resurrection ourselves as a community. The men on the Emmaus Road had a long walk home, and we do too. They had seen everything about Jesus, but they almost missed the meaning of the resurrected Christ. But then their eyes were opened and they recognized him. Oh.